Like I told you, workers of the Metro Mass Transit have decided that they won't allow their deputy managing director into the office. Now we can find out why from Aisha Ibrahim, who is at the premise, premises of uh, the Metro Mass Transit and has joined me over the telephone. We'll bring you some live pictures in a bit. Aisha. Hello, Aisha. Yes, Kamini. Aisha, what have you gathered so far? Well, I'm currently with two leaders of the um, Metro Mass Transit. Uh, I have Joseph Kwesi Ahimkwa here. He's the national chairman for the junior staff. And I have Dela Lukuma also on my right. He is the senior staff union chairman. So he's a national chairman, actually. And um, I've been finding out their concerns uh, because they, they told that uh, the they want to, they have vowed to prevent the deputy managing director from entering his office and as a committee set up to investigate uh, disappearance of buses, submit their report. And so I have them here. I will let them speak for themselves and I'll start with the Lali Kuma. What has been your concern? Okay, on record, um, we have not prevented the deputy managing director from coming to uh, work or entering his office. Um, we also woke up to a news item, um, primarily um, talking about the committee's work on certain buses that moved out of MMT premises uh, without following due procedure. And um, after it, well, that's where we are at now. And you say you're not stopping him from coming to work, but what were your earlier comments? Earlier on, um, when I spoke to a sister radio station in Accra, um, they asked me about the committee's work. And indeed, I told them we found some of the buses. Uh, we found about five of the buses that um, we out of about uh, 10 that we are late had um, gotten out of our yard and without trees and they asked me about the location of some of the buses and I do need to uh, give them where the buses are located and um, the action that we took when we cited the buses. Under what circumstance did you find those buses? Um, some of them were parked at the um, garages, others were parked at very obscure places and uh, others were being worked on to bring them back uh, on route for use. But there are company policies. You are not allowed to buy scrap uh, buses from Metro Mass and go and retrofit and use. Because um, it, there are various legs to this issue from the criminal angle. Um, how are you going to even register that vehicle? Because we don't sell scrap buses with the vehicle documentation. So, what kind of documentation are you going to use to run the vehicle? That is one. Two, our policy states clearly that nobody should carry a bus out of our yard pool under the pretext of um, scrapping them. You scrap them in our yard in situ and you carry your, your scrap materials out. Yeah. That is the age of practices that we've uh, said to have to know. So I don't know um, how to occasion anybody to come up with a new directive as it were. And when the committee went about its work, um, particularly in Kumasi, it was stated that the deputy managing director gave directives for the people to carry the buses out. And indeed, one of the buses that was came out to be cut was an accidented bus, and the chassis had um, a problem. It was um, bended, so it, it was a little short. Yeah, okay. And that bus was replaced with a bus that was not on the list of buses to be scrapped. Okay. And that is, um, without mentioning words, tantamount to stealing. Okay. Because this wasn't part of the list of buses that we came out to uh, be scrapped. Could you uh, immediately point fingers at uh, people you suspect could be engaging in those things? When the committee went about the investigation, it was stated in Kumasi that the deputy managing director, engineer John Okuzuaza, was the one who gave them the directives to move the buses out of the Kumasi yard. 
So what has the investigation team been telling you, Mr. Ayankwa? What have you gathered from the investigation team so far? Um, in fact, clearly we have seen that, um, as my brother has already come out, is, uh, is we have found out that uh, uh, our deputy manager general in the person of Mr. Ukul uh, Jaza, uh, who instructed these managers to allow the buses to go out, and even uh, instructed them to, to add uh, back hazards and uh, gearbox additional to those buses to go. And when we wait at Kumase, uh, we found uh, somebody led us, somebody who led us to the place that we found a, a certain place co uh, called Etimetim, Kukwano at um, uh, Mampontin Road. There we find two buses. In fact, uh, we see uh, we see everything that when we hear that the committee is coming, they started moving these buses out from the work workshops and hide them at a certain point. So we went to Etimetim, uh, Kukwano, and found our two buses as my brother was saying, the bus number 2028 was not among of uh, the buses who were supposed to describe. And we found this bus at, at, the, at that place. So uh, uh, it was uh, uh, true that uh, some of the buses of Metro Mass uh, as, uh, as we mentioned, and we are, uh, the committee have found out that it's true that uh, what, what the union came out is true. And so what action have you taken so far? We are now gathering our information as a union. This one is not a committee. It's the union. We are preparing ourselves to come out. Okay. And uh, uh, preventing your managing director from entering it, office is one of the actions you want to take? Uh, uh, not yet now. We haven't decided that. But uh, we, we are now trying to meet the divisional executives. And from there, we may know what to do. So, Kamini, if you're here with me, you, you, you can understand the frustration of the uh, MMT staff. Uh, I'm talking to Delali and Ms. Ahinkra here. They're both chairmen, one for the junior staff and one for the senior staff. And I want to find out from you, um, what ha has the committee investigating this issue? Have they come out with their report? Yes, a report is ready and it has been submitted to the managing director. What were the findings in the report, apart from one of your managers being named from Kumasi? That um, company procedure was not followed. That is one. Um, um, a few other things. Uh, some of them have um, generally escaped me. Hmm. As I said, I have to refer to a boss of it before I can manage some of But were there recommendations? Yes. And could you briefly tell us what these recommendations were? Um, the recommendations included um, decentralizing the, um, the staffing and giving authority to the depot involved to see to it that the buses are cut. Because what happened was um, the auctioneer just brought a chip to the depot and told them have been um, issued with this chip to dispose of. X number of buses. So they just identify the buses and he gives it to the people, he, um, the, the buyers, and they just do whatever they want to do with it. So um, we recommended that it should be done transparently. That is one. Um, the unions and everybody should be involved in it. And the depots should own the, the, the staffing. And so tell me, is that why you have red bands uh, around your neck and Mr. Hinkwa has this around his arm? Yes, it's part of it, and a few other issues that will delve into in the coming days. And tell me its significance. Oh, the red is to show our displeasure about um, what is going on, and we want action. That's it. Okay, you, you've just told me that you're gathering your facts, right? Um, what next line of action are you going to take after gathering your facts? Um, like um, Brother Hinkra said, we are going to have a divisional meeting, and from there you will hear from us. So just stay tuned. And so, when do you intend to stop your manager from getting into his office? Those, those, those ones are um, actions that will take when we get there. We don't want to um, preempt anybody 
so that the person will come up with I am I explain things to counteract what you want to do. Okay, so you said you were going to use what the gorilla plan or something. <laughs> Okay, Kevin, so if you're following the conversation, uh, I've been talking to the senior national chairman of the um, MMT uh, staff and then the junior chairman, chairman for the junior staff, Mr. Ahimkra, and then Dalali Kuma. And they've been telling me that they're gathering the information. Mm. They have already said the display of uh, missing buses in their yard. And uh, the investigation has pointed out some people who are involved. And so they are also gathering their uh, um, facts that come out. He's unable to tell me what kind of action they're going to take, though. But from uh, the way I see all, <laughs> from talking to him, I can see that it's going to be a massive but, but, action. But, I mean, I, Aisha, they're the, the wearing armbands to register their displeasure. It, exactly. It, so. Is it affecting work in any way? Say that again, Kemini. Is it affecting work in any way? Are they working? Are the buses working? Um, the five that we saw, some of them were at the various stages of uh, repair. Mm. So the main intent is for them to work finally. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the workers themselves. The workers are the headquarters okay, of the merchant. Uh, that's what my colleague wants to find out. That are you working today or are you in uh, some kind of strike or you are avoiding work today? No, we are working. We are working fully nationwide. We have not declared any action yet. But um, if we, we, we have a whole uh, amount of uh, um, tools at our disposal, which includes the strike, a demonstration, a whole lot of things. But I've not settled on anyone yet. Okay, so you have a lineup of activities coming up. Uh, when should we expect the first one to drop? Um, we cannot promise you, but we'll take action. And when do you intend to remove your red band then? After we are settled, sorry. <laughs> that could be a long time, you know. So if you could give us some timelines when you feel that you will be satisfied. Any the moment we finish mm. our, right. uh, if we, gather, we finish gathering our information. We right. But but Aisha reduction that will, will come out. Aisha Kemini yes, I'm right. You, you're there. Paint us a picture of the general atmosphere at the headquarters of the MMT now? Well, over here, um, there's nothing that shows that they're not working. You can see the buses moving here and there. And there's no atmosphere of work going on. It's a normal thing. You don't see anything that shows that workers are aggrieved or workers are angry or workers are not working. Everything is perfect here, mm. Kemini. Would never hear. Thank you very much, Aisha. Thank you. Aisha Kemini. Ibrahim joined us from the headquarters of the Metro Mass Transit. Now, the workers say to t in days to come, they will roll out a series of action in protest of happenings within the company, would include uh, buses wa that were disposed of without going through the, uh, without going through due process and some misappropriation of funds at the company. But a lot, a lot of you on Facebook, today I intend to read, have been commenting on uh, the court cases. I'll start off with that of uh, famed compare Kwesi Che Jaqua. And Ghana's son on Facebook says, how does a bail application get adjourned for a whole week? Our justice system inspires very little confidence. And, um, and for that, it's, it's handlers ought to hold uh, their heads in shame. Slow justice is no justice. Well, I could also talk about Victor Opon Chechiku Edu Jemfi, who says, be careful. If it's not working, why are you not doing anything about it? There are so many options available to all stakeholders who feel the system is not working. Until it happens to people very close and dear, these types of concerns are always missing in action. No pun intended. Gwendolyn, obviously surprised, says, 
OMG. Freezy P, Papa B says, hey, judges for so so. What is this agenda, Jen thing, la? Shaking my head. Belize Trust says, oh, Kose why? Obviously say, saying, uh, sympathizing with KKD. Sal Philam says, hey, no kofi o nikbo mobaye. Hmm. Evans Ibn Samba says, no, I won't read that. Solomon Sam Ablodepe says, there is Mensa in every home. It's his it's his, that's, it's his time that has been up. We all have our flaws. Don't be quick to judge. And Blazer Ney says, if it is proven he's not guilty, then all the languishing in jail will amount to what? Victor, 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 I've read a message from Victor already. Let me give someone else a chance. Kofi Ojo Michael says, I'm surprised at KKD. Why? I'm not going to read that. But I can go on to read something from Lisa. I think this judgment is just a form of punishing the offender, especially when they realize he might go free after the case hearing. We don't know that. And um, Belinda Tete Enyo says, oh, what's wrong with the judicial system? Because there's a gen this agent thing is becoming too much. I'll leave it here. I'll read a bit more in a bit uh, when I come back. Don't go away.